Hey there, Survivors. Cougar here, still looking for the Fountain of Youth. We've made it out to Mountain uh, to Lonely Island on our very first canoe. Ain't she pretty? The After You, she's named. And so let's explore. This is our new objective: is to get inside the mountain here on Lonely Island. So let's see if we can do that. That looks like a way leading us somewhat inside. You know, I should have checked my inventory before we started this adventure. Make sure that I'm not carrying too much and that I am carrying stuff that we might need like a torch. Oh, well. Okay, well, that... We'll, we'll go inside and check that out in a sec. Let's see what's down here. Nothing much. Some scrap for sticks if we need it. These crates are useless. Okay. What else we got? More useless crates and barrels. Step, get inside. Passed. We are now inside. Congratulations. Here's a new book, The Canon of Medicine by Avicenna. Avicenna. And a note from a Santa Maria cannoneer. Basically, his lifeboat crashed on the underwater reefs near this rock, and we, they had to swim here. Pedro slipped on wet rocks and broke his leg. We've run out of supplies, and they're starving. Please pray for us and take care of our bodies. Well, I can't bury your body. That's definitely Pedro with the broken leg. See, he's got a splint on the leg there. Okay. So what else can we find here? Glad we're doing this in the daytime. It looks like we may not have to use a torch in here. I'm not seeing any creepy crawlies that we have to be aware of. There's a piece of the native's map. Good, we'll keep keep gathering those, piling those up. No scorpions or spiders. Good. And here we are. Oh, it's like a bunch of burbs up here. We may have to defend ourselves. Yep, because there's a nest right out there. So they're definitely going to be coming for me. Killed him. Did he leave us anything? I think he probably went rolling off down the cliff. Yeah, there he goes. I just saw his feathers. There he goes. So whatever he was carrying has gone. <laughs> quick, quick, before he rolls away. Let's grab the trophy. Oh, shoot. And another one. Good. Okay, select all. Let's get all the goodies. No suitable tool. We might be able to make one. That's right. At the end of the last episode, we used up the last durability on the iron knife that we had with us since we escaped the shipwreck. So let's see. Do we have a stone on us? No. All right. Well, if we can't harvest those deals, those little guys, we don't have a stone. We don't have a bone. There's no way for me to make a knife. Oh, well. I'll keep an eye out for a stone or a bone. Maybe we can come back up here and get the goodies off of them. Oh, six eggs. Five feathers. We're probably going to be in a position to have a bow and arrow soon, so I, I do want to be picking that stuff up. I'm going to skip this cutscene. Again, these are pretty well this drawn, but not very well written Santa Maria. or acted, voice Left acting wise. So rock. we're just going to Go he was dying. Okay, yep. Improved ship repair kit definitely will come in handy. Will prove of great use, I'm sure. Alright, so let's get to the highest point we possibly can, which is probably here, and do a little map it.
Okay, we've mapped this out. There's an interesting site we've already been to. That's down where the uh, where we found the book downstairs, where Pedro had the broken leg. And then everything else, it looks like we've gotten off of here. Our My disease is worsening, but I, I think we could probably do something about that. Yes, we have some hibiscus petals. Oh, no, that's not for upset stomach. Chamomile is for upset stomach. Mild indigestion became better. It's now a stomach ache. We could probably leap off of here and go diving down into the water, because I think the ship, our boat, is right below us. Yep. Okay, well, let's just hope we don't hit anything on the way down. Good luck. Yeah. We didn't hit anything. Is there anything down here we might be able to gather? Nope. So we out. This is really our first swimming excursion. Our swimming is not very strong right now. Okay, so that did it. Our next objective is to sail to another region. So I would prefer to do that with some supplies tucked away in our thingy. Hmm. There's a, a massive stone that we could break down for a regular for some regular stones and then use a regular stone to make a... Uh, I don't think it's worth running all the way back up there for some eggs and feathers and a harpy trophy. So forget it. We've got six eggs on us anyway. Okay, so if we were to take the helm here, we could, in theory, sail away to a new region up here. But we probably don't want to do that right now. To go on the expedition of this region, you need to be at the helm of the ship and have one of the following set of items. The Santa Maria Cannoneers note, we have that. Or five pieces of native map. We only have three of those. Or, and be at the, the canoe's helm. Oh, the canoe's helm, not the raft's helm. I see. So, we're good on two of the three requirements. But I don't think we want to head out right this second. I think we want to prepare for this a little bit. I would also like to find some more of the stuff that we... That's that's that we haven't discovered over on the on the main island yet. So let's head back. There's the old tilty rock where the grotto is. But we're not going there. I doubt anything super exciting is gonna happen on the way back, so how about if I just meet you guys back there?
Okay, we're almost home. The only slightly interesting thing that happened on the way over here was... was that I leveled up my sailing skill. And that reminded me... I'm sorry, it's, it's loading the island stuff now, so we're getting some serious frame drops here. It reminded me that we haven't really looked at our perks. I'll bet I have a bunch of perks waiting to be spent. Ooh, ooh, frames, frames. Oh my gosh. Getting big frame drops here. All right, let's take a quick look at our perks on the character menu. We have two perk points to spend. Now, we're on normal difficulty, which is not difficult at all. Uh, so I don't want to be going crazy on these perks. I mean... You know, we'll, we'll pick some up if they interest us. I think the learning one will help because it'll give us a, a bonus to learning things and give us more perks as we move up the trees here. Um, and the rest of these are going to take two perk points to activate, except this, the alchemy one I'm not really that interested in, and the concentration one that gives you x-ray vision I'm not really interested in. So we're going to hold off on the rest of that. Uh, this, the screen, um, this screen here tells you what you can do to earn perk points. We do want to make a palm juice collector, I think, although that would have made more sense over at the grotto where there are a bunch of those fig trees that will give us those the the constant replen constantly replenishing juice from the date tree. And I already went running around looking for dates and over here and didn't see any. There might be some a little bit farther away, but we're getting really tired now, so I don't want to go too far from home. We got to get back and sleep. Yeah, I'm not seeing any dates over here. So to build one of those palm tree collectors or the date tree collectors we're gonna have to find a tree to attach it to and I have to make a new knife which means we need to find some obsidian I can I can make one out of stone for now or bone but yeah we really got to figure out where the obsidian is on this island because we haven't discovered any yet Yeah, there's still a lot for us to do on this island. The next objective is to sail to the Buffalo region, but I'm not in a huge hurry to do that. Just because there's still... I'm going to pull up the map here. There's still a lot of the island that we haven't seen. There's a lot of stuff to retrieve on the island, like this special object here, and this special object here, and this special object here. Yeah, lots of stuff that we have to still go and do. So let's not be in a huge hurry to run off to the Buffalo, to Buffalo region yet. And that is exactly what I did. Uh, we're going to condense time a little bit here because it was like three or four days. I was just running around doing not so exciting stuff. So here we are finding a one of those special objects down at the whale bones right outside the grotto. Here we are finding a book under a rock slide that killed somebody. Poor fella. But thanks for the book. Uh, we were attacked by numerous jackals. We had to go and clear a bunch of jackal areas. Uh, good thing, though, because we needed their tendons for making the animal hide tendon stuff that we will use for... Here's another jackal attacking. We'll use those for making clothing, you know, sewing up our clothing and stuff. Uh, making a bowstring and all sorts of important stuff. So we also did some more mapping, climbing up into another cartographer's tree to get a little bit more mapping done. And we mapped a good amount from the top of that tree. And that tree actually gave us the location of some... Oh, no, it wasn't that one. I'll, well, there's another one. Found some more living water, that really good healing potion that heals you all the way up. Uh, also found another water source on the island and that had a bunch of clay at it. So we now have a bunch of clay that we can use to make kilns and forges and stuff like that and fill up all of our water stuff. I also found an interesting place that was like a uh, kind of a hunting area maybe where they were or maybe they were doing sacrifices here. But yeah, they had another special item to read and a bunch of arrows and bones attacked by more jackals. But that's okay. This guy gave me a little bit of trouble because he was running away 
So I had to go chasing after him. And I had no stamina. But Jackal died eventually. And gave us a bunch more tendons and meat. Good. Also found an interesting location where they were building dugout canoes. And that also had a special potion that we were able to find. Along with sticks and barks and stuff. And there's the potion, a jaguar potion. Also did some more mapping from the top of a rock. And this mapping excursion actually gave me the location for some obsidian mines. So that was next on our list. We had to go to the obsidian mines and mine out some obsidian. There were actually three obsidian mines pretty close together. So we ended up with a good amount of obsidian that uh, and now that we had some backup obsidian, I was Ooh. I was feeling like it was time to go out and after we get to the three and attacked by another jackal. But now that we have some backup obsidian so that we can repair or craft a new obsidian spear, I thought that it was time to go out and actually do some boar hunting. So now equipped with the lots of obsidian and an obsidian spear, it was time to go out and hunt boars for their hide and meat and animal tendons. tendons. And those boars are no joke. They're pretty angry and pretty tough, which is why I wanted to wait so we had better gear before we went off and started hunting them. And we found another couple of boars over here near this little pond. Well, I don't know if it counts as a pond. Just a little stagnant water sitting there, and there's a boar living here as well. And poor me, because I was very bad at fighting the boar. Ow. Come back. Thank you. At this little bit of uh, stagnant water, we also found another book. And then one last boar. I think this was pretty much it for the boars. I think we have, at this point, killed and harvested just about every boar on Hope Island. There may be one or two still lying around. But... Or dancing around, anyway. And then we got to work doing some building. So I built some platforms to put some uh, building on and attached it to the dock that we had already built. The building is good. It's not very flexible or extensive at this point, and there are still some bugs and glitches at this point in early access, but it gets the job done. We got up, you know, four walls and a roof with some windows and doors and stuff. And some steps leading up to it, and then a little outdoor area with... Uh, we, I moved the little covering that we made that we were living under for the time being, you know, temporarily. And I moved that over next to the construction so that we have a little work area outdoors that is actually covered from the rain. So that's where we're picking up right now, folks. Home sweet home. Check it out. What do you think? It's got all the modern amenities like a roof and walls and rugs, throw rugs that we got from skinning some critters, our bed, good to go. So uh, we still have a little bit of prep to do before we're ready to head off to the new region. One of the things I would like to do before we head out there is make myself some better clothing because we're still wearing the clothing that we made on day one, which was just the, the grass leaf clothing. Uh, so we are going to have to go out. In order to do that, though, first, we found a date palm that's not too far from our home. So I've been talking about doing this since day one. Let's finally see if we can actually make this happen and put up a palm juice collector on this date palm tree. And we can now 
build it. And we can actually put two of these down. But to do that, I'm going to need another of the coconut flasks. And now we should be able to make another one. And attach it to this tree. Yep, on the other side. We'll just rotate it around. So now we'll have two of these hanging off. And they'll both be collecting. And, nope, not that one. Here we go. Okay, good. And I just harvested the actual dates off of here. We'll have to come back in a, you know, in a day or so to check that for juice. But now that I have the dates, what I'd really like to do is create a drying rack so that we can have dry dates. Dry dates are just about the best dried food you can get, in my opinion, because it doesn't take away water when you eat it. It actually adds water. So let's see about doing a drying rack here. Machines, a food drying rack food dehydrator here we go we need two rope some split logs four long sticks and some leaves the th only problem there is going to be the split logs i think we're going to have to go out and find one i have one split log right there but we need two so we're going to have to go cut down a tree and bring it home an update has been released since the last time I talked to you guys. So they've changed some stuff. They haven't really added anything new. Oh, I think my uh, my saw is out on the boat. I was starting to get stuff stored in the storage here on the canoe in anticipation of heading out. So I've got my tools in there and some bandages and other supplies. Split log. Probably getting on toward evening now, but we're on our way. Let's set down the ghost of our drying rack here, food dehydrator. And let's see where would be a good convenient place to have that. How about, yeah, what right over here? Okay, we now need one rope, four long sticks, and one more of the green leaves. There's our green leaf. Here are our long sticks. And yes, the devs have been talking about creating storage containers for stuff like this, but for the time being, it's fine to have them just lying around, in my opinion. Um, we need more ropes, which are still in my boxes up here. Moving these boxes is kind of a pain in the butt because you can't really move them while I have stuff in them. So you have to transfer everything out. Which is not great. Okay, that's it, and build. And let's put some dry dates on there. Great, and that'll take a day to dry. And I think with that construction, we unlocked the next drying rack, which is a double drying rack. Uh, we, could, we could build one of those. I think it would be a good idea to build one of those eventually. Um, maybe I'll do one of those right now. Uh, that, that's going to take a lot of stuff, and it's getting dark now, which is going to limit what we're able to do without risk of injury. Let's see if we can cut down one tree without getting hurt. Good. Oh, good. And that actually gave us two logs. We're very, very tired now. So we're not going to be chopping this log up tonight. We'll go and have a nice rest in our new home. Don't want any jackals getting in. All right, good night, everybody. Um, we might want a little bit of water before we go to sleep. Maybe something to eat. Let's eat up what's in the worst shape. Let's eat up some of these fried eggs we've been hoarding and have a sip of water. Three sips. And sleep time. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. 
Two more split logs, 40 minutes on that. And then let's get a ghost down for our, I'm actually gonna rotate this around. There we go. And let's see, another machine, double food dehydrator place. And so what are we missing now? One more split log, which I have eight long sticks, which is probably going to use up almost all of our long sticks, if not all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's just about all of them. And then a few of these. Oh, I'm so heavy. I can't move. I gotta drop something. Drink that. And we're still a little bit heavy. What can I drop? It's it's all these long sticks. I mean, we can do this in two trips. Okay, we've got all the long sticks we need. Now we just need that last split log, which is sitting over here. and built an hour to get that built we've unlocked more blueprints which are going to be so we can we got dried mushrooms we can make dried dates dried meat salted lard i actually should look into getting some of that but we need salt for that oh no we don't or do we i, I forget but anyway let's get some dates on there do we have enough dates to do one more no we're gonna have to find some more dates for that but we did have some lard up here which was a about to go bad. Yeah, this is almost done. I think you need a couple of those. Let's see. But I think you actually need salt for this, don't you? Yeah, so we're going to have to figure out how we can get salt. T to do that, we're going to have to build an upgraded version of the campfire here or an actual water um, purifier, which will take salt water and turn it into fresh water and salt okay so that's not happening today well but we I mean, we've got some drying going on which is good but what i was talking about with doing was making us new clothing and what's holding us back on that is we're going to need some needles to get that sewing done and for that, we're going to have to catch some fish. We have one fishbone needle. We're going to need more than that for making a bunch of clothing. So let me drop off some of this stuff we're carrying and then see about making a fishing rod or a harpoon. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to use that lard, so I'm putting it back the animal fat and we don't need our saw right now so we're gonna put that back on the boat okay everything else I think we want to hold on to for the time being but let's take a look at our tools what do we need to craft a fishing rod we just need one long stick one bone and some animal tendon the bone I haven't really been collecting bone because we haven't needed it yet. So, oh, we do have some bones. Okay, good. So one bone, one animal tendon, which we now have 19 animal tendons from all the killing that I did over the past few days. We also have 10 dried hides, which I've been drying on the rack here. In fact, I think this is probably done. Yeah, that's finished. So let's put our final hide on the rack to get that dry up. We've reached level three in drying. Stuff will dry faster. Animal hides will dry faster on the rack. Drop off these hides and pick up a long stick. I think probably our last long stick. We've got one left after this. But now we have a fishing rod. Then all we will need is bait for the rod. And we had some worms that we got off of, of a, a nest here but i think those worms have gone bad they were in here and i think they're gone which means they yep 
we no longer have any worms. But I believe we now know how to make a an artificial lure, which would probably be in what? Hmm. That's just the rod. No lure blueprints found. Okay, maybe we haven't learned how to make the lure yet, which means we're going to have to go out and get some worms or some spoiled food. Spoiled food also works, but not as well. I'm just looking to see if the lure is around here somewhere. No, I don't think so. An another thing I want to make with our hide is a sleeping bag. Oh, wait, there's the lure right there. Leaf bait. Okay, cool. So we only need some green leaves to do that. Um, I, I'm not sure... I've never used the artificial bait before, so I'm not sure how it works exactly, whether we're going to need one each time. Okay, one leaf makes three of the leaf baits. Cool. And we don't need any tools or anything for that. So, what time of day is it? Do we still have time to go out? Yeah, it's only midday. We still have time to go out and do some fishing. Let's give that a shot. Closest fishing spot... We haven't mapped all the way out to the water yet in numerous places here. So let's just start sailing and see if we can see a fishing spot. Give us a chance to improve our sailing skills as well. I know that if we continue in this direction, we'll come to a fishing spot eventually, so we'll, let's go this way. I also now have some boar tusks, so we could make a harpoon and go harpooning some of the larger fish. Let's try the fishing first. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, I'm damaging the boat because I'm going too fast and I'm not a good enough sailor. Oh, oh, easy, 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 easy. As your sailing skill improves, you can move faster without damaging the boat quite as much. But for now, yeah, I'm kind of beating the crap out of this poor canoe. When you guys weren't looking, I did upgrade the canoe once. It has three upgrades, three levels of canoe. So we started with the basic canoe. And then I upgraded it to the next one up. Looking for a fishing spot here. Nope. Feels like there should be one here. Yay, I'm becoming a better sailor. There's a fishing spot. Okay, fishies, don't mind me. I'm here to pull you out of the water and eat you. So we will use our leaf bait, and we have a 50% chance of actually catching something. Ah, oh, bad timing. The fish did not bite. Let's try again. 
The fish bit and got off the hook, which means we lost our bait. So now we're down to two of those leaf baits. Our first fish, yay. Unfortunately, it's we're away from home and it's raining. I, I really would have, we needed to stock up on water. So too bad that we're not in a position to take advantage of this rainfall right now. All right, we've got one more leaf bait left. Let's try. Hey, two fish. Good. And did that use up my bait? So now we're done, unless I make another bait. Yes. Okay, hold on. So let's see if we can quickly make another bait. Pull out a couple more fish. Hey, three fish. Let's try for one more. There's no skill involved, no mini game, anything like that. You just throw it out there and you have a percentage chance of actually catching something. Good. All right. We got a bunch of fish. I think that's it for our, that was the last bait, right? We have no bait left. Yeah, okay. So we're done. And now, mm, I'll bet this rain stops before we get back to base. But let's let's try it. What you have to do, what I have to do now is I have to put the fish that we caught on the ground and then harvest them like that. If you don't harvest them in your inventory, you gotta throw them on the ground. I'd like to make it back while it's still raining so we can fill up our canteens. Sailing in the rain, never a good idea. So while you've got a lightning rod attached to your vessel. Second of all, surfaces do get slippery. Visibility is increased. Wait a minute, am I where we are? Yes, this is home. Oh yeah, another thing we can do, that I meant to do and keep forgetting, is you can build a signal fire. We'll build a signal fire next to the base, make it a little bit easier to locate from afar. Check our water situation here. Whoops, whoa, just wedged myself in there. Good, let's fill this up. Have a little bit of a sip. And uh, I think we just used the, our, our two spare canteens. Oh no, there's one in here, full of water. Good, that's my backup emergency flask that I keep in storage. We are getting soaked out here, though. I, I want to move those containers inside, but that is a... I you know, it's, it's going to take a bit of doing to do that. For the time being, why don't we take one of these books that I've been working on 
And since we don't want to be out here getting soaked today, maybe we'll just read a little bit of book in here where it's dry. Since it is light enough to do that. Oh, wait, yeah, and let's throw our fishes on the ground and harvest them up for fish bones to make needles and fish meat to make other stuff. Well, I mean, the fish meat we can eat or dry, but I think you need salt to dry fish meat as well. So we're not there yet. But we can just eat it. Unfortunately, I have a feeling we've got too much food as it is right now, so... And then we're going to have to get rid of these fish bodies. That fish had no bones in it. Is that some kind of mutant fish? Okay. Uh, yeah, no way to get rid of those fish bodies, I don't think. Yeah, you can just drop them. That's the only, our only option. So let me just run away from camp a little ways and drop them so they don't, don't start stinking the place up and attracting predators. Which they won't actually do. That's just me doing that stuff in my mind. Bye, fish. Thank you for the meat and the bones. And do we need light to make needles? Not sure. Let's make all the needles. Five needles we can make. Well, we, we get a bundle of needles from that. So now we have... Oh, no, I guess not. We only get... All right, so now we have six needles. Now we can start thinking about making ourselves some better clothing. I don't... It's night now, so we're not going to do it tonight. What can we do tonight? Let's check on this. Our dry dates are finished. Great. And we cannot add the fish here because we need salt for that. So we're going to have to cook up that fish. I think we'll just... I've already got a bunch of food on me. I've got these eggs I need to finish. Let's eat one of those right now. I've got four pieces of roasted meat that I need to eat before they go bad. And now we've got these dry dates, which are great. And they're, they're going to last for a really long time, so I'm actually going to put them on the boat. And they'll be our emergency food stash on the boat. We're getting a little bit tired now. Why don't we go ahead and go to sleep and pick this up in the morning? Ah, we're soaked. But we'd have to start a fire to dry out, and we're not injured in any way, so it doesn't really matter that we're not going to be regaining health here. So we'll just go to sleep. And it's raining again, so more water. That, that actually scared me. I forgot he was out there. <laughs> and he gave me a little spook there. drink up this water since we got nothing to put it in. Okay, and now we're going to have to go out and get soaked again. But, maybe we don't have to because we'll just stay here and do our sewing. Make our make our clothing. To do that, we're going to need... I know, I know. All this stuff should be over at the at the camp. I, I, I'll do that on my own time, though. I don't... You guys don't need to sit around and watch that. Am I too heavy to move now? I did it again. What can I get rid of? Some rocks. And... Okay, at least I can move now. Okay, so crafting equipment, an animal hide hat, one dried hide, one tendon, and a needle. Uh, at the workbench, we do this at the workbench. Animal hide hat, 32 minutes to craft. Animal hide cape, takes two pieces of hide, two animal tendons. Uh, my fishbone needle broke, I just need to try again. Okay. And then animal hide pants, should have enough for this. 
Although more, well, yeah, we'll go ahead and make it. The needle broke again, but we have more. Yeah, before I use up all of my stuff, I think more important than the other crafting items, other clothing items, are, is going to be a sleeping bag, which apparently we don't need to be at the table to make. Just make that by hand. So where is that? Down in other items, sleeping bag, two dried hide, one tendon thread. Oh, that needs an improved workbench. So we're going to have to upgrade this workbench before we can make that. We can do that with just a split log and four rope, which we have the rope. We don't have the log, but we could have a log. With 48 minutes worth of work. Oh, yeah, right. And we left a couple of logs lying on the ground out there. And now I need my saw again from the boat. Okay, so upgrade. Now you have your split logs. Now we just need the ropes. We've got 11 left. And these needles... Well, these needles need to be destroyed. I'll leave that last one. It's still got a little bit of durability. Okay, our improved crafting table. Good. Now we can make a sleeping bag. Broke our needle. Hey, and we've obtained a bunch of perk points. We, we're, we're stacking perk, perk points here. So now we have our sleeping bag. Just destroy this needle. And here's our sleeping bag, which we place on the ground. Somewhere where it can... There we go. And we just climb in there and be warm and comfy. Or cool and comfy, as the case may be. Okay, what was I just thinking about we needed to do? Well, we don't need the fishing rod on us anymore. Oh, yeah, we got a couple more pieces of clothing to make. What did we still need to make? We've got a hat, a cape, animal hide pants. We just need shoes. And we've got everything we need for those. Okay. Okay. Now, we could put all these things on right now, but our, gre our grass stuff still has lots of durability, so why don't we hang on to... I'm just going to destroy this. Needle. Why don't we hang on to the animal hide stuff, and we'll use that when, we get, when we're ready to head to the new island, or when the stuff that we're wearing wears out. Okay. Okay. Um, we don't. I don't think we're gonna need any animal hide where we're going. We're not going anywhere at the moment. Anyway, let me just have a sip. Sip. So I'm gonna put the animal hide back in here. The book back in here. We never actually ended up reading any of that book. And tendon. No more tendon left. Okay. Let's have a bite. Okay, all right. Things seem to be moving along pretty well. We've got our new clothing, uh, which is what I was waiting on before we headed out to the new area. We've got some food on us. We've got some water. I would actually like a little bit more water. And with it raining again, I think what we should do is make another one of the bamboo flasks and fill that up. Bandolier, we don't need bamboo flask. We'll take. We need cattail for that, which I believe I have. Yep, there's one. Okay. 
day, we now have two bamboo flasks with lots of water in them. Okay. And you know what? I think that's going to do it for this episode. And we seem to be just about all prepped to go to the Buffalo region. I think that is what I'll just finish up any last preps that I have to do on my own time. And then in the next episode, we'll head off to explore a new region. See you then. Stay safe, survivors.